Welcome back to Kerbal Hard and Uncut. Uh, last time we, I don't know what we did actually. We did some we did some maneuvers around Jewel. We we finished a, a, a transmit science data from Jewel, which is quite good. Um, and then we, we we also did some stuff about getting a craft and Moho. But we'll, we'll get back to Moho. We're going to do a little bit of Jewel to start off today, and then we're going to spend a bit of time on the Moho missions. I think I think that's where we're going to focus. Um, so we have uh, we don't really have enough Delta V to capture anywhere. Is, is one of the big problems I have um, because we're in we're in dual orbit. We don't have relay antenna on this, so it's not serving any purpose by being here. So I thought, you know what, we can try. We can actually have a look at the atmosphere of Lith is what I was thinking. I don't know how thick it is. Um, so I thought we'd just try messing around with it. So we've, I've put, we, we had a maneuver to try and go to Valley. It was gonna cost us uh, pretty much, we we're gonna have about 200 meters per second. Um, if we got there, and I think Val, you you need about you need about we well, need more. You need you need a big chunk to basically capture. So it, it's not a huge planetoid. So that's what we're, although I don't know. I mean, we could. We could, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm tempted. I am tempted to, but I think that's a, probably a bad idea. So we're we're, we're going to go for Lith. We're going to go for Lith because I thought what we do is we have a little interaction with their atmosphere because we're going to have to send something there at some point anyway and just see sort of how thick it is, what we can do with it, if if this craft can actually, you know, survive anything at all to do with it. I, I don't know. I don't know what we can do. I don't know what we can do. We can close some antenna and do some stuff with it. I, I don't know what else to say. So I'm just looking to put this node in. Um, What I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look at what can we do with this node? What can we do that's going to be clever? Oh, no, not that. Uh, The other way. Oh, look at that. We can, what we can do is we can move a new by changing the position of the node. I can actually change other stuff. Let's have a look. What else can we do? I, I want to, I want to basically glance across. So we're going to, we're in this, this polar orbit. We're going to glance off an angle. And that's, I'm guessing that if you worked out Pythagoras, would be the velocity of this sideways and the velocity of this up and down. And you'd get, you get you basically your, uh, if I put that there, you would get yourself a triangle is what I would guess. But as you can you can comment down below if you disagree with that. I, I think that would be quite an interesting little bit of math to do. I've not really looked at Lathe much. It's I've never really been to Lathe actually. It's uh, it's not a planet, plan, plan, moon, moon, not planet that I do much of. So let's have a look. What can I do to um, to make this better is what I'm thinking. How can I get closer? A uh, bit of this. Oh, that does, that does get you closer, doesn't it? Um, and then you stop being close. A uh, bit of that, a bit of this. Oh, that is gonna, it's now, I don't know where the atmosphere is on, on Jewel. I'll be entirely honest. Um, oh, that's interesting. Does that, wow, look at that. So we actually end up, by doing that, we get a second encounter there as well. Um, Okay, so this potentially, like, I don't know the, the height of the atmosphere here. Can we, you can't even see it, can you? Because it's stock, you can't see the atmosphere, which is a little annoying. So let's assume that we're going to go to, I don't even know. I don't even know. We're going to test it. Um, ooh, hello, lots of interactions there. A bit of that and uh, a bit more, a bit more of those. There we go. Let's put us, let's put us at... 10, 15, let's go to 10, 9. Right, so we're going to go on 9. We're probably going to burn up, is what I'm actually thinking, because we're going to be coming in at a fair old whack, as it were. But that gives us a little bit of delta V to maybe maybe do some braking as we come in. We'll have a think. We'll have a think. We're going to have something. We're going to have something to play with that. So that's in an hour. Uh, burn time is one minute. It's going to be an hour. We have time to do that. We can get rid of that. Um, let's let's do that then. Let's just fly around. Um, so we're going to do that burn. Hopefully it's going to put us there. We do have extra delta V available if we need to use it. Um, we do have, do we have the ability to put this on? We do. And then I'm going to put it onto there. That's not it. I want retrograde because that's probably better. And then that's close enough. And then we'll do that. And then we'll just position ourselves just like so. There we go. Now I've got to remind you, we've we've lost our big tank, which would have been really good for re-entry actually, because it's a nice flat surface. We could have done something with it. Uh, we don't have any other fuel in these, do we? No, no. Uh, this stage will go. It'll lighten, and then we'll be onto this set of tanks, which is um. Yeah, that's that's not perfect, but we'll live with it. 
and I'm going to do the first part of this burn on this screen and then we'll we'll change over once we've ditched ditched up oh that was a bit of an interesting wiggle wobble there isn't it all right um can we can we do a bit of physical time warp there we go so you can see so we've got we've got a bit of time left on this engine uh we should probably be monitoring it oh did you see that that's a flex in a bit isn't it that was interesting i didn't expect it to flex like that right are we ready there we go decouple that fire that engine so that one's i don't even know where that other bit's going now it's just yeah it's not got a probe course that's fine you know what we could do we could close that let's uh oh i wonder if i use that it's got high drag i wonder if we could use that like for aero braking now there is an idea oh look that's nice so that's lathe that's i'm guessing that's val or pob pole bob i don't know i don't know anymore right so what are we doing? How are we going? We're, yeah, we're definitely going out there now. We're definitely getting getting out there. Uh, it's amazing, actually. It always makes me when you when you you're tight round jaw like that. Just how much delta V it takes just to get out of that. But then once you're out there, it's uh, it's noticeably sort of better. It's, uh, it's uh, you can see how far down our node has actually moved by doing the time maneuver, uh, using the little the little maneuver node sort of thingy magic. Um, ideally, we we're hoping to cross the, that, but we're actually spending more delta V because we've had to basically uh come here come here come I'm chasing you now right let's have a look where am i right i'm currently hitting it i'm currently hitting it so we just need to come back come back come back here right we're going to just put it there and we're just going to put a little uh do a bit of that there we go that's that's better right uh right now i need to know what these are that's not working is it that's not that's not gonna be it right so i'm gonna do that all right it's not, oh it's not that is that is correct wow i was actually perfectly on what i was aiming for there i thought i had the wrong one okay all right when's that gonna happen in two hours why is that still oh, it's still showing let's get rid of this let's do that all right we've still got days until the other thing so we've got seven minutes let's get this uh wow it looks a lot smaller now doesn't it all right let's get this into the sphere of influence of lathe um through the medium of uh timey wimey warp i think so we're gonna go to there warp to there right i think we're gonna burn up i think we're gonna be too low and we're gonna burn up i don't know what the delta v we're gonna what uh what orbital speed we're gonna have when we actually encounter it um i, I don't know yeah well that is quite high actually yeah um yeah what what does it require to capture at lathe um probably a lot a lot less than a lot more than what we've got yeah so how short are we okay so i'm looking at losing 2000 meters per second okay i'm looking at needing to lose about 1700 meters per second that's not happening so this thing's blowing up but we can at least figure out where the atmosphere and i know i could go on the google i know i could go on the wiki i could do all those things i could definitely find out all these things that i need to know but it's more fun to find out like this isn't it right so let's uh, let's go in uh, we'll go back to focusing on our craft right so how do i want to do this um i think i want to go pro grid i think i want to go pro grid i think i want to check what's our situation with battery right we can close those um oh no we can't because i didn't put the ones on that you could close right they're going to burn off and we're going to die. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to retract this antenna. There we go. Okay. Cause you know, we might save an antenna, right? Let's go in. Let's see what happens. Um, it should jump me down as we hit atmosphere. So we should be able to see it. And we'll also be able to, basically the craft will start to show drag. Um, so if we had data, if we had tr systems on this, they would, they would tell us because we'd start to experience drag. Um, let's have a look. Okay, so it's not 70, it's not 60, not 50. We're at 50. Oh, it's at 50. Well, we're, we're quite low. Yeah, that, that would be. So that's interesting. Oh, hello. Are you? Good. Well done. Right, so 50. 50 kilometers. Oh, look, that's a nice island, isn't it? Right. Um, let's go back to the Space Center. So we now know 50 kilometers is what we want. Well, at least we did that dual science mission anyway, got that out the way. Because I think that was the one that I was worried about on time, I think. 
Um, right, so what's next? Uh, Moho, Moho window. I suppose we can timey wimey warp to the Moho window and um, we can hopefully get a craft to, to capture. We'll, we'll see. It's going to be a long, is it going to be a long burn though? That's the next question, isn't it? Did I extend the solar panels? Probably. I probably put the solar panels out. Maybe. Oh, we got, we got some science. Oh, I meant to, right, you know what? I never do this, but let's have a look. So dual, um, in space high for, oh, it hasn't given us it. That's interesting. So I'm sure it said that it transmitted that data from dual. Maybe you just don't get it. Maybe it's because it's, it's a gas giant. You can't possibly have all data. Right. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna warp to there. There we go. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, we do. I'm, you know, what? I keep trying to think of how to, how to avoid flashy lights, but there's just flashy lights. It's just, you can't help it. It's just interesting. We're going quite fast there. Actually, that's quite good. Right. So we should get there reasonably quickly. We've got about four minutes left. We've got four minutes left of this episode. And I would really like to do something other than blow up a craft around Jewel, which would be, you know, while, whilst it's fun, it's, uh, it's not really productive. I mean, we've got the 50 kilometer mark. I know Leith's atmosphere is at 50 kilometers now, so I can start to plan if I want to do you know, going into its atmosphere. I'm going to forget that it's 50 kilometers, so you're going to have to remind me. Uh, but then, of course, you'll be after I've recorded when I need to know. So, yeah, that's that's probably not going to work, is it? No. Um, but remind me anyway. Remind me it's 50 kilometers. I should really have a little chart of it, and I should really just Google it and find it, but I, I'm, I'm not going to. I refuse to. Right, let's have a look. We want... Um, the jewel... Is that, is that the Moho b -Lander? Where's the... Probe, what are you? Okay, you're just bits. You're just a bit of something. I, I, you're not important. Right, when, when are we going to get that? Right, I better, better fly to you now. We've got about 30 seconds before you are in the sphere of influence because, of course, I gave myself a one-minute time on there instead of the usual five because I went to the default settings. Not to self. I wish it would be nice if you could change the default. Can, you probably can. There's probably somewhere in a config file you can change it from defaulting to one minute before the alarm to, to more than that. Um, I do wonder, I think if you've got long burns, that becomes a problem, but we'll, we'll think about that. Should we, if we, should we maybe get to that point? Right. Uh, let me just see. Where, where are we? Come on. Get me, get me to the sphere of influence. Where, where is the, where is the moon? Ah, oh, there you are. Hello. Uh, it's not actually a moon, is it? It's just a, we're going to, how long, 25, um, how long does this engine take to burn? That's three minutes. And that's five, so that's seven. Let's just walk to there. We do have electricity, don't we? We do. We do have to, we have electricity. We've got, I think I was looking at that thing going, wow, we have a lot more liquid fuel left than we do oxidizer. And then realized that's because our next engine is primarily liquid fuel. Uh, well, it's, it's a nuclear engine, right? So here we are. We're going to add the maneuver. Um, what we're going to do, I'm going to capture. So let's do that. What's my loosest capture? Loosey goosey capture. There we are. That's the loosest you can get. Fine. That's going to take 10 minutes of burn time. Great. That looks like it's going to be a, another couple of episodes burning engines, isn't it? Right. Um, okay. So let's, let's warp this. We're going to put this in retrograde. Uh, we're going to oh, actually, I can put it on the node. Put it on the node because we have that ability with this craft. Right. Two minutes to get it there. So we're just going to speed towards it. There we go. Gone past it. That's a brilliant idea. Well done. Sea monsters. Start the engine. Fire, fire, fire. Get these things going. There we are. Now we have a minute left of the episode because of course we do. Because of course we're going to... It's almost like I've timed it, isn't it? It's like I've timed... It's like I've timed these burns just to coincide with... Uh, oh, that's interesting. But the perhaps isn't going on. Um, I'm sure it is. Yeah, the perhaps is going... It's going up actually, but okay. Um, we're just looking at that. That's one thing that annoys me actually, when you've got, uh, you've got your maneuver perhaps there, which is on top of our actual perhaps and you can't see both of them. See, you've got, you, you've got to go off to a side. You've got to, you've got to hunt the, just a shadow of it. Um, yeah. So we've got about 30 seconds left. We'll just talk about this. I will probably do some of the rest of this burn. Oh, actually we're at the point where I have to disconnect something. Do I, do I just, yeah, there we go. Oh, full double mega nuclear power. What's the thrust on this? Two, two, two thrust away. That's not bad, actually. That's uh, 
I don't know if I accounted for having Kerbals on board, thinking about it. Um, that's a good point. Uh, yeah, have I got landing legs on this? I, I do. Okay, that's good. All right, um, there we go. We just put them out because we can't. All right, so from me, until next time, have a great one.